Donut Daddy here, and today I'm going to burst your bubble. We're going to be making delicious bubblegum helium candy balloons, edible of course, and a delicious refreshing lemon meringue cocktail, match made in heaven, perfect date night combination to impress your guests. So let's get stuck into the recipe. For our delicious lemon meringue cocktail, we're gonna be starting with some fresh lemons. We're gonna squeeze them to perfection, extract that juice right out of them. So, two lemons, we're just gonna chop those up. I'm gonna squeeze it. So let's squeeze your lemon. You want to make sure those lemons are nice and ripe. You don't want something that's too, too firm. You want to make sure that lemon's got enough zest in there, enough life in it. Just gonna squeeze that. Oh yeah. That refreshing zesty flavor that we all crave on our tongue. 20 ml of water. Now to make our sugar syrup, we've got Three ingredients, we've got our lemon juice, freshly squeezed. Water, 20 ml. Lemon juice, 20 ml. And caster sugar, 20 ml. We're gonna put that in a bowl and we're gonna combine that together. Just gonna stir that a little bit. Two eggs creamy yolks inside. However, we're not using the yolks, we're using just the white. You can keep the yolks, you don't need it for this recipe, however, you can use it for your breakfast or if you're making a pastry cream or something like that. So we're just yeah, using two egg whites. Be careful. Crack. Cream of tartar, just a quarter of a teaspoon. Bench top mixer. We're using our whisk attachment to make this meringue. So put that on. Now, we're just gonna start the speed on medium. When it starts to froth up just a little bit, we're gonna add our sugar into that, just a little bit at a time. So I'm gonna turn the heat, I'm gonna turn the speed up a bit. We're adding 175 grams of sugar in total to this and we're adding it all in little segments. So we're gonna add a little bit of sugar in now, just a tiny bit. So we're gonna add a little bit more of that sweet, sweet sugar in there. So with this meringue, we want it to get nice and silky and smooth. That's when you'll know it's ready. It will start to become really silky smooth and look really delicious. We're almost there. However, you don't wanna overmix this. We wanna make these firm peaks, not fully firm. We want to have a little bit, kind of like soft firm peaks. So our meringue is looking good. Look at those firm peaks. Nice and glossy. See how it's nice and deliciously fluffy, but glossy. And still you got that firm peak right there. See that? Nice and bouncy. Extra creamy. So now that that's ready, we're going to put that in a piping bag with our tip and we're gonna put that in the fridge while we prepare the rest of our cocktail. Piping bag and our sweet, sweet, delicious meringue. So we're gonna, nice and creamy. Next stage, cocktail shaker. We're gonna shake this up with some ice. So starting with our purple gin. There's a few different types out there. I don't wanna mention names unless they sponsor me. Let's get it in there. 50 ml of purple gin. Lemon cello. Our sugar syrup mix with the fresh lemon. Drop it right in there. Now we're gonna get some ice and melt it on my body. I mean, we're gonna get some ice and put it in the shaker. 
Don't look in there, mate. Ice. Ice, beep. Chuck that in your shaker. So we've got in our shaker, we're just gonna shake that up. Shake it good. Give a little kiss for good luck. You know what I'm saying? So I've got a nice martini glass. Pour that directly in there. It's vibrant purple. Now let's get our meringue and let's pipe this on top. The middle. Things are about to get hot. So we're gonna to lightly torch our meringue. Caramelized texture to the meringue. It smells good, looks good. So we're gonna finish this delicious cocktail with a candied lemon. Now, I'll show you guys in a separate video how to make these. It's pretty simple. Um, let's put that on there. Now, for the star of the show, those big, plump balloons filled with helium, edible candy balloons. Very unique idea. So make sure you dig yourself a helium tank and a tube as well, about 10 centimeters thickness, diameter. And uh, yeah, let's get right into the recipe. So, first thing, bloom your gelatin, powdered gelatin. 15 grams. Make sure you use the powdered variety for this. Don't use the sheets. Bloom that with 30 grams of water, cold water. I'm gonna put that to the side. Next, we're gonna get a medium sized saucepan and we're gonna add in all our ingredients together. Beginning with our sugar, caster sugar or granulated sugar. 200 grams. Make sure your scale is working efficiently and it's a good quality scale, not like the one I've got. Now, granulated sugar or caster sugar, 200 grams. Make sure every measurement is perfect. You do not want to mess with this. 16 grams of cornstarch, half a teaspoon of salt or 2.5 grams. 120 grams of water. 217 grams of light corn syrup. So that's how your mixture should look. It's gonna look thick. So your mix is gonna start bubbling like this. This is usually around 100 degrees. So it's gonna sit around 100 and it's gonna go up slowly until you reach your 120. This process takes a while, but just always keep your thermometer nearby. Constantly check it. You cannot go over 124 degrees Celsius. So as you can see, our mixture's looking extra sticky icky. That's a nice thick consistency. We're gonna add our gelatin that's bloomed straight into that and stir that. The recipe is challenging, but I love a good challenge. Here, the hardest components are keeping your temperature at 80 degrees while your mixture, while you're blowing your bubbles. So always keep that at 80 degrees. Another challenging component of the recipe is putting the string onto the balloon. The second person makes this a lot easier. So if you have a little helper with you, it would make it a lot easier. And then also another component is making sure your temperature gets to 124 degrees. Always measure out, make sure your scale and thermometer are high quality and they're working well, because that's gonna be a big, big component in this recipe. And your recipe just may not work for apparently no reason. So be ready for that. And you may have to make this mix a few times because it is not easy. So now our mix has reached 124 degrees. We've added our gelatin. Next stage is now to let that cool down. We want that to get to 80 degrees before we start dipping. 
you're gonna have to constantly put this back on the heat and take it off just to keep it at 80 degrees. That's probably one of the most tedious parts. So keep that in mind. While this is cooling down, we're gonna prepare our string for our balloons. We're gonna also get our helium tank ready on our table and let's do it. A nice twine. Burst your bubble. Creamy, delicious, sweet and sour lemon meringue cocktail. And we're pairing that with a very interesting, fluffy, candy bubble gum helium balloon. It's gonna pop in your mouth. So this is a very interesting recipe and I know you're gonna love it. It's a big challenge, so be ready. Who doesn't love a big, hard challenge and a big bubble to burst? Let's get into it. Hope you enjoyed watching me burst my bubble and squeeze my lemon. And I'll catch you in the next one.